Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the elect. Um, just a quick video. Um, sometimes I come across scoffers on uh, different boards, uh, brothers' videos and all that, and you know they they um, mention how oh you shouldn't say like that or or that's rude or you're swearing or this and that. So what I want to show is that the, the actual prophets of old, the disciples, um, were actually, um, you know, a lot of them were rude in speech and a lot of their characteristics where they, you know, spoke the word in a sense are the same way that a lot of the men in a Great Millstone uh, speak, you know. Now, not everyone's going to be the, of the same speech. You're going to have different backgrounds and different things or whatever, different ways, but, you know, that this is this is I'm gonna show through the scriptures that actually there ain't nothing wrong with the way that certain people uh, are speaking, man, or so-called swear words. Because it's really to swear is to make an oath, you know, curse words in a sense. But which, when you look into certain words, like for example, the word fuck, it really just goes back to the to mean the word. It means to strike. Okay, that's why you can say that you're gonna go and fuck a woman. Or you're going to go and fuck that guy's face up. It's the same thing. Okay. This is a uh, 2nd Corinthians chapter 11 verse 6. And this is um, this is Paul. It says, but though I be rude in speech. Right. So that means that when Paul was preaching. Hey, Paul came across rude, man. It says, yet not in knowledge. But we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. Okay. It said not in knowledge. So it, ultimately... Okay, people are getting messed up and they're getting offended about the way we're coming out or the way we're saying things. But hey, that's that's a stumbling block to you, man. Because the knowledge we're coming out with is all is all righteous. It's all correct. So then, you guys that can't get past that, you are you are um, you're 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 um, set for damnation, man. You know, this is Matthew chapter eleven, verse seven uh, to eight. And this is concerning uh, the Apostle John. Sorry, Salakia. This is concerning John the Baptist. Okay. Uh, and as they departed, Yahushua began to say unto the multitudes concerning John. Because, now before I read this out, you know, at Great Millstone, the reason why they call us bums and things like that, and you know, so because we come across rough. Okay, because we're real men. Okay, a real, a real man is, you know, it comes rough. Okay. As they say, rough around the edges in a sense. Okay? You know, our beards are rough. Because, you know, that's how a real man's meant to be, man. Okay? Scriptures say not to line up and look like a faggot, man. Basically. So, yeah, you know, and I said that as well. I said that word, man. Faggot, man. Go look it up, man. <sighs> this is a... Uh, yeah, I'm going to read that. And as they departed, Yahushua began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. A reed shaken with the wind. It's soft. What are you saying? Is that what you went out to see? Because that's not what John is, man. John's hard, man. So, but what went you out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. You look, you looking for someone in goodly raiment, or looking glossed up, you know, in a perfect white garment. So, you know, is that what you were looking for? All, all measured up, nice gold, you know, with the trimmings. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. So. You know, what does that mean? Well, that means that, that John was rough, man. Okay. Said that he had um, 11 uh, of camel's hair, man. He had a... Uh, let me get it, man. Uh, it's Mark 1 and 6. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of a skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey. He was a rough man, man, living out in the wilderness, man. Okay. But, hey, this scripture is going to pretty much explain how our people view, or anyone really views, you know, rough rough men. Because, you know, they look at us like, you know, we're the poor men, man. We're the bums. And that's okay, because the scriptures talk about that, man. It says, it says um, blessed be poor for uh, yours, you know. It says that, you know, but we're rich in spirit, man. Okay. That's what the Lord said. It says, now, this is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 13, verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, right? Now, that rich man, that could be Esau. That could be, you know, a doctor. That could be um, a, a 
one of them creft old dollar type pastors. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. They extol it to the clouds, right? Gassing up what he's saying. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? Who the fuck's this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. You know, might mess up on his word or something, and they're going to try and fuck him up, man. And you know why? This next group is about to explain it, man. It's Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Because they hate, they hate Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai was a rough man. Okay, I'm going to get that, man. Yahweh Shai was an austere man. Okay? All right? Yahweh Shai didn't mess around. He was serious, man. This is uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 21. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. Now I'm going to go into that word austere, right? As you can see, I've lined up my scriptures here, because um, I want to do a lesson on this. Because it's good to meditate on scriptures. You might have a job or something, and you might be working throughout the week, and you know, you're doing what you got to do. But it's good to meditate on scriptures and maybe jot them down somewhere. So that when you got the time, you can, you know, do the vid. And then sometimes, it happens sometimes where you just go in the order. That's just how the spirit wills. Or sometimes you might go into something else. Something might, a scripture might pop in your mind. You know. Um, this is uh, the online etymology dictionary for the word austere, right? Now it says, early 14th century, adjective, early 14th century from old French austere, strict, severe, harsh, Cruel, bitter, harsh. So, oh, right, unadorned, simple in style, without luxuries, severe, rigid, grave, sober, sour. So that you know. So hey, let's go back to that. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. So what kind of man was he? How shy? Okay, he was real man, rough. Okay, real, truthful. Came raw with it. Because that's the, that's the truth. The truth cuts, man. Okay? And you, you might come out of a certain way. But, hey, did you get the message? This is Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. Okay? So, so when the prophets come out, we uh, we speak this word. In the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai. We speak it with stammering lips, man. Okay? Now let's let's look up the word for stammering. Okay, it says mocker, mocking, a mocker. Okay. Now the etymology for the word mock, the verb, the description, it says make fun of. So we make fun of people out there, man. Okay. But you guys are through. The Lord, hey, the Lord has messed you up, man. The Lord's also gonna laugh at your calamity, man. It says, make fun of, also to trick, delude, make a fool of, treat with scorn, deride, jeer. Uh, if you keep going, it says, um, sense of imitating, as, as in like you have the mockingbird. You know, it's like you get someone who says something and you might repeat what they said in, in, a, you know, in, a, in, a, in a sense of um, like you're making fun of them, man. Okay? Because you guys out there with your bullshit, you're coming at us. Thinking that you know a little something. And then we're, we're breaking it down to you. And if you're still coming against us. Then you know. You're a scoffer. Then obviously we're going to start mocking you man. Okay. The, the Lord is laughing at you man. Because hey. Because you're hey, Because you're fitted for destruction man. The Lord's going to laugh at you in the day of your calamity man. And we know that man. So it doesn't matter. So the point of this lesson is. It don't matter how a man's coming out. Because hey. The, so. The ancient prophets were coming out that way. They were rough. They were rude in speech. So what does that say about the modern day prophets? And I said the modern day prophets. Which are the prophets coming back in the reincarnation? We are those prophets, man. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. And, you know, the elders uh, before them. We believe that, man. Okay? King Marsha, High Priest Arya, to name, uh, to, you know, um, high, uh, Elder Abba Bivens. I know that um, Apostle Ha mentions um, uh, High Priest Shah. 
I don't. I didn't. I didn't know these men, and I've never met the apostles. But I, I believe that they're the prophets. Okay. Through faith and through the hearing, man. Okay. And you know, they come out rough. When I first came into watching the videos and was showing the truth, and I thought it was harsh, and I thought it was it was it was like that, because you're in the world, you're under that that spirit. But hey. I listened to the, to what the word was saying, man, and the Lord sat with me, man. Okay, so if you ain't getting this, and you're getting that's being, and that's a stumbling block, then you know, death to you, man. Okay, because the, the 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 elect are gonna hear this word, and they're gonna be sealed, no matter which way it's coming out, man. Anyway, with that, you know, shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Shmuel, Shai.